sunshines. This is our video for Wednesday, June 3rd, okay? In this video, we're going to continue working with our grammar book, okay? Remember that we are working in the videos with the grammar book because not everybody has it physically at home. And you can check it in the mails or in the platform mail if you want to check it on your own time, okay? Now, we are going to use our grammar book now. Grammar book, here it is. And it is on page 81, all right? We are going to answer exercise G, all right? It says write sentences. To write sentences, we are going to match these beginnings of the sentence with the prepositions, with the correct preposition, taking in account this adjective, okay, considering this adjective, and then we're going to use the last part of the sentences. I am going to help you, and the sentences are already written here, so don't worry, okay? Now, let's start reading. It says, I'm good, I'm disappointed, I'm interested, I'm worried, I'm surprised, I'm happy. At, in, about, with, by. And then we have the amount of junk food children eat. The cake I made today, it's great. How cheap fruit is at this market. Making pizza. The cake I made yesterday, it's too dry. Trying food from different countries. Okay, so what you can do is match this part with this part with this part and then write it down here. Okay, so you know how to put them together, how to write the correct sentences. Number one, I'm good at making pizza. And here we have it. I'm Good at, okay, good at making pizza. Number two, I'm disappointed with the cake I made yesterday. It's too dry. I'm disappointed with, okay, disappointed with the cake I made yesterday. It's too dry. Dry means seco. Number three, I'm interested in, interested in, I'm interested in trying food from different countries, trying food from different countries. Number four, I'm worried about, worried about the amount of junk food children eat. I'm worried about the amount of junk food children eat. Number five, I'm surprised by how cheap fruit is at this market. I'm surprised by, surprised by how cheap fruit is at this market. And number seven, six, I'm happy with, happy with the cake I made today. It's great. Okay? Okay. I am going to repeat so you can check. All right? Number one, I'm good at making pizza. Number two, I'm disappointed with the cake I made yesterday. It's too dry. Number three, I'm interested in trying food from different countries. Number four, I'm worried about the amount of junk food children eat. Amount means cantidad. Number five, I'm surprised by how cheap fruit is at this market. And number six, I'm happy with the cake I made today. It's great. Okay? Right. Now, 
Exercise H is a talking exercise and we're going to work with it in our live class, okay? So for now, we have finished with our grammar book. Now, please take out your student book and we're going to see some other prepositions, but these prepositions are prepositions of location prepositions that tell us where things happen or where things are. Where means donde, all right? So please take out your student book, very good, and open it up on page 163, all right? We're going to work with this exercise, writing study, okay? It says writing study, letter E, learn prepositional phrases, location words. We have the underlined words below tell us where something happens. Apples and oranges grow on trees, on. Carrots and potatoes grow in the ground, in. Pumpkins and cucumber grow on vines, on, okay? Here we have some, we have in, for example, for things that go in, in a box, in a classroom, in your house. Number two, on, on, on the table, on the chair, on the ground, okay, on. Number three, off. Off, it's something that you take something from all of a place. For example, off the ground. Uh, on Saturday, there was a spaceship launch, and it, the word is take off. In our, in our memory work, we're, going, we're talking about a spaceship too, and it says take off, to take something from a place, okay? Take off the ground, take off the table, all right? And at, we use at when we're talking about public places, okay? At school, because it's a public place, a school, at a museum, at the store, at the movies, all right? We use at. All these, all the, well, these four words talk about public about where things are or where things happen, okay? Now, let's continue with our exercise. It says, read the sentences, underline the words that tell us where something happens, okay? The children were playing in the yard and underline in the yard, where the children were playing in the yard. Number two, the millers decided to grow their basil plants in pots rather than in the ground. Underline in pots and underline in the ground, okay? Where are going to grow their plants? In the ground. They are not going to grow them in pots, okay? Number three. It's best to keep your tomato plants off the ground. Underline off the ground. Number four, where is best to keep the tomato plants off the ground? Number four, my family spent the morning picking wild raspberries and putting them in baskets, okay? Underline in baskets. Where did they put the fruit in baskets? Number five, we put the vegetables on the table. Where do we put the vegetables? On the table. And number six, the boys played basketball in the park. Where did the kids play basketball? In the park, okay? I am going to repeat this exercise so you can check your answers or complete it. Anyway, we are going to work with this during our session, during our class, so don't worry. Now, number one, the children were playing 
in the yard. Underline in the yard. Number two, the millers decided to grow their basil plants in pots rather than in the ground. Underline in pots in the ground. Number three, it's best to keep your tomato plants off the ground. Underline off the ground. Number four, my family spent the morning picking wild raspberries and putting them in baskets. Underline in baskets. Number five, we put the vegetables on the table. Underline on the table. And number six, the boys played basketball in the park. Underline in the park. Okay? Very good. Now, we are going to review our memory work and our spelling words. Okay? So, I am going to stop this to change our posters. Okay, now we continue with our spelling list. This is our spelling list 25, okay? And the words are very easy because we have been working with them as vocabulary. So, please repeat them with me so you study with me, okay? And today we're going to start from here, all right? So, number one, teenagers, T -E 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 T-E-E-N-A-G-E-R-S, teenagers. Number two, haze, H-A-Z-E, haze. Number three, garden, G-A-R-D-E-N, garden. Number four, vines, V-I-N-E-S, vines. Number five, beans, B-E-A-N-S, beans. Number six, potatoes. P-O-T-A-T-O-E-S, potatoes. Number seven, gardener. G-A-R-D-E-N-E-R, -E -E gardener. Number eight, community. C-O-M-U-N-I-T-Y, community. Number nine, crowd. C-R-O-W-D, crowd. Number 10, suddenly. S-U-D-D-E-N-L-Y, suddenly. Number 11, water. W-A-T-E-R, water. Number 12, curious. C-U-R-I-O-U-S, curious. Number 13. Bloom. B -L -O -O -M, B-L-O-O-M. Bloom. Number 14. Empty. E-M-P-T-Y. Empty. And number 15. Mural. M-U-R-A-L. Mural. Okay, now we're going to repeat them the other way around, okay? Mural, number one. M U R A L mural. Number two, empty. E M P T Y empty. Number three, bloom. B L O M bloom. Number four, curious. C U R I O U S curious. Number five, water. W A T E R water. Number six, suddenly. S U D D E N L Y suddenly. Number seven crowd C R O W D crowd. Number eight so is community C O D M U N I T Y community. Number nine teenagers T D E N A G E R S teenagers. Number 10, haze, H-A-Z-E, haze. Number 11, garden, G-A-R-D-E-N, garden. Number 12, vines, V-I-N-E-S, vines. Number 13, 
beans. B E A N S. Beans. Number 14, potatoes. P O T A T O E S. Potatoes. And number 15, gardener. G A R D E N E R. Gardener. Okay? Now, let's review our memory work, okay? Climb aboard. Put on your helmet and buckle up real tight. Here comes the countdown. Let's count with all our might. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take off! Okay? We're going to repeat it another time. So, repeat it with me, okay? Climb aboard. Put on your helmet and buckle up real tight. Here comes the countdown. Let's count with all our might. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take off! Okay, very good kids. Now, let's talk about some things that we have to prepare. Okay, remember spelling and memory work on Friday, June 5th. And our project, <coughs> sorry, let me take some water and I'll come back to you. Okay, now I drank water and I'm perfect. Now, about our project, okay, remember our project is for Monday, okay, Monday, June 8th. So it's in your student book and it's on page 165, okay. This is our project. You have to create a drawing, okay, with four of your favorite foods and from which plant they come. All right? I am explaining this in Spanish. Proyecto para presentar el lunes 8. Con lo que haya en casa. No hay que salir a conseguir nada, okay? Con lo que haya en casa es... Un dibujo de cuatro comidas que les gusten y de qué planta vienen, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, si les gusta el pan, pueden hacer un dibujo de pan y hacer un dibujo de trigo. El pan viene del trigo. O si les gustan los frijoles, hacen un dibujo de frijoles y de las plantas que vienen los frijoles, que son vainas, parras, ¿ok? Es muy sencillo y lo van a presentar en inglés. My favorite food from plants are this that comes from here, this that comes from here, ¿ok? That's what I want you to do. Si lo hacen dibujado, si lo hacen en presentación de PowerPoint, como ustedes lo quieran hacer, ¿ok? Que sean cuatro, ¿all right? Like this poster. If you want to make a poster, whatever you choose, that's perfect. Okay? Very good. That's all for today. See you in class. And I send you hugs and kisses. Bye.